Good afternoon, welcome to Windy Hill Kennel. I'm Kathy Grandstaff and we are located in Central Ohio. Today is the 25th of March and we are slowly closing in on April. Um, so for those of you that have never seen us before, we specialize in schnoodles and schnauzers. And we have, um, we do a video every week of these guys and then we'll do individual photos. I'm actually gonna take photos of everybody that just has their eyes open. So today we're gonna down here with um, series litter of puppies. And in this litter, she only had two girls and the rest of these beautiful guys are boys. So it has been, uh, it's funny, either we go all female sometime, sometimes we're almost all males, and sometimes it's just a mixture. So you never know what you're gonna get. Um, so this morning when we do this, or this afternoon I should say, I have five grandchildren that belong to a friend of mine, and their name is Nick, Sid, Kristen, Taylor, and Eli. I hope it's Eli, is that how you pronounce it, or Ellie. It's either Ellie or Eli, so don't hold me to it. Uh, so I know that you have been crazy about your puppy and wanted to see pictures, and I know Grandma sent you pictures, I hope, last night. But, uh, so this little girl is sold, and eyes are open, so they're gonna be a little bit wiggly because they are like, I don't know where I'm at or what we're doing. And so today we're gonna to give you weights on these guys. And she's got really, really pretty coloring on her back. She's got black on her ears. And both of the females in here are sold. So everybody that we have available are males. So on the website, okay, we're gonna play up and down until this thing goes to zero. There we go. So today she is get my arm off. I thought there's no way she weighs two pounds. She is 12.6 ounces. All right, so down you go. And this is the other little girl that's sold. She has lots of black on her back. Her little nose hasn't turned completely colored yet, but it will. And she has black completely across her head onto both ears. And she's got lots of really pretty merle spots. This one says I'm leaving on her back. All right, let me give you a microchip number on this one. But it's pretty easy, there's only two. Uh, this is 5077. She is 11.6 ounces. And this one, her microchip number is 5079. All right, now we're gonna start on the boys. So if they're gonna lay still, this will be the last week on the table. These guys, we dumped them out of the floor on the floor today. So they're in their cubicle with mom. Um, they can run all over the place, but they're really for the first probably four or five days we dump them out of their welt box. They'll hang pretty close to mom in, in a pile in one corner. They won't get out and explore too much. So this is a really, really pretty dark merle and really nice coloring, nice coat. And we're gonna look at 5080. It's a little too early to tell you 100% what color the eyes are, but there is a possibility this is 1.06 ounces. I'm sorry, one pound, 0 0.6 ounces. Um, but once they get to be about four to five weeks old, we'll be able to tell you if anybody's got blue eyes. But right now, there's just no way to know and you're not gonna sneak out the other way. You get up here and lay down. I'm gonna play monkey move up. We're gonna stick you in here. And I'm gonna do the other brown one. That way I can tell who I've done and who I haven't done when they mix themselves all up. This is a chocolate Merle. This one is gorgeous. It's got beautiful markings on its coat. It's a lighter Merle with a lighter, lighter with the dark colors on it, where this one is a real deep cocoa with the black spots. And this one is microchip number 5083. Let me move over here away from the others. Yep, 5083. And this one has one of these I was looking at upstairs. Oh, I know, don't do that to you, I know. This one has a chocolate nose. It's always gonna have, if it doesn't have blue eyes, it will have green or hazel eyes. But you can see colors on coat are getting really pretty. Can you look at Brittany for a second? 
He says, no, I, really, I just went down. Are you gonna go to sleep? Don't go to sleep yet. All right, we're gonna cut toenails when I go upstairs too. This is one pound, 1 1.8 ounces. Okay, we're gonna put you right in here and we're gonna scoot. Nope, stay right where you're at. Stay right where you're at, he's bulldozing. He says, I'm trying to push through and I can't. Nope, you can see him lean up when he's shoving against me. Stay there. All right, this is a black and white. And there is two black and whites in here. This one has a partial collar with black on this side. This one has a white collar all the way around. So that's the easiest way to put it. And I think this one has probably a little bit less weight. It's a little bit smaller than the other one. 5084 is his microchip number. And this guy will not have blue eyes. This guy will probably have just black eyes, which are normal. All right, all right, all right. I'm not saying he couldn't have, but I don't think he will. So we're one pound, 1.6. And for a little girl that weighs nine pounds, this was a lot of puppies. It really was. And she has done everything on her own. We have not helped her as far as feeding them. Um, she watches over them like a mother hen. This is the other black and white. You can see this collar goes all the way around, clear around there and connects to the legs on this side. So this one has a complete white collar, kind of like a Sheltie. And 5076 is the microchip number. Really pretty coat, nice and thick. And this one also probably will have black eyes. It could possibly have blue because mom has, she's a Merle, which sometimes will throw a blue eye. So this is one pound, 3.6. Okay, and everybody's turning around and getting, the natives are getting restless. All right, this one is a really pretty little chocolate Merle really nice coat was a pistol to take pictures of today and you'll have to excuse my bandage I hated putting it in all the photos but I have a I hit the grill in my oven and I singed my hand clear across and when I hold them they put their fingers or their toes and toenails right in it so I had to put something over it to protect it okay this is 5085 and this one I see you. I don't know. I don't think it has blue eyes though. I really don't. Whoops, don't roll. No rolling, stay where you're at. All right, so this little guy is 13 point, no, 14.4 ounces. Is he gonna change again? Nope, 14.4, I keep moving you around. You're a little squirt. All right, now the last one in this litter which I think is probably going to become the biggest one in the litter. This is a black, and I do believe it is all black. Let me see if you have color. No, no color. No color on your coat yet. So right now, this one shows that it looks like it's gonna stay black, which is 5078. So this is an all black schnoodle. And We are one pound, five ounces. Now I want to hold him up here and look in the light. You might roll this coat up. No, I don't see any other color in there yet. Sometimes they'll turn colors. I don't know, it's iffy. We'll have to wait a later. I see a little bit of a different color, but I can't tell if it's the light down here or if he really has a different undercoat. I know you're wiggling, trying to go, you're trying to go under this puppy. There, how's that? You're still not where you want to be yet, are you? They love to root and get underneath of each other. So that is the story on this little black one. So everybody else is doing super, super good. Um, no one has any issues whatsoever. They are doing really good. Mom's doing really good. Uh, they're on the floor now and out of the welt box with mom. So they have the opportunity to toddle around and find her, which she probably doesn't like too much. That one's right on top of everybody. So I hope everybody has a blessed day. And I know with everything, the way things are today in our world and jobs and groceries and everything, the, the way things are going, 
So they, I saw on the internet, there was someone posted a really neat little, just a quick comment. And it says, be patient. Your storms are only temporary, but the blessings of God last forever. So, you know, I know things are really tough in places and the country seems in a total uproar, but uh, you know what? God's got it. It's God's got a plan and it'll all work out in the end. The biggest thing is that we have to remember that and um, reading the Bible or just staying in the word will really help, especially if you're having bang like anxiety and things. Uh, sometimes the news isn't the best thing to watch. So have a blessed week. Take care. If you have any questions at all, give me a call. We'll talk to you later.